everyone, it's Christina again. At this point we've talked about the different food groups and today we are going to learn how much of each food group you should be eating for a healthy diet so you can start putting your new nutrition knowledge into practice. So what is my plate? My plate shows you how to have a healthy eating style. It visually displays what your plate should look like to help maintain a healthy diet. So as you can see, there are five components of my plate. There are fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy, which we will go through one by one. Half of your plate should be fruits and vegetables. They are packed with fiber and antioxidants. Eat fruits of all colors. Go for fruit instead of juice, which has more fiber and fewer calories. The more colors and types of vegetables that you eat, the better. Aim to eat mostly non-starchy vegetables, such as broccoli, peppers, and carrots. Grains should take up one quarter of your plate. Try to eat mostly whole grains, like whole grain bread, brown rice, oatmeal, or quinoa. Refined grains, which are foods like white bread and white rice, have less nutrition. Whole grains have more fiber, iron, and B vitamins. Your protein should take up the last quarter of your plate and will be about the size of your palm. Chicken, fish, turkey, beans, and nuts are all good lean protein choices. Aim to have three servings of dairy per day. One serving of dairy is equal to one cup of milk or yogurt and one and a half to two ounces of cheese, which is one to two slices or about one fourth of a cup of shredded cheese. You can eat your three servings of dairy with your meals or as snacks between your meals. This will ensure that you get all of the calcium your body needs. Also, make sure to choose low fat options when selecting dairy products. We know that not all foods will perfectly fit onto the plate shown in the diagram. So what will our plates actually look like when we follow my plate? Here are a few examples. So as you can see here, we have our chicken or maybe pork um, as the protein. We have rice as the grain, strawberries as the fruit, Brussels sprouts as the vegetable, and we have milk on the side as the dairy. Here's another example. So here we have our salmon as our protein, pasta as the grain, broccoli and green beans as the vegetable, orange slices as the fruit, and again we have milk on the side as the dairy. This plate is a little bit trickier because our protein food, the meat sauce, is usually served on top of our grain food, the spaghetti. However, you still follow the same my plate guidelines and fill a quarter of your plate with spaghetti and then add enough sauce on top that would cover the other quarter of the plate. This plate is also a little bit trickier because you notice that there is no fruit. This person probably decided to have their fruit serving for a snack and had two servings of fruit at another meal. So they replaced their fruit serving with a second vegetable serving instead. This plate is also a bit tricky. Like the last plate, this person probably had an additional fruit serving at another meal or as a snack. So they have two servings of vegetables that fill half of their plate. The hamburger patty counts as the protein serving, the slice of cheese is the dairy serving, and the bun is the grain serving. My plate allows you to start simple and it can be adjusted to fit your schedule and preferences. Don't like ve vegetables at breakfast? That's totally okay. Just move the missed vegetable serving at breakfast to one of your snacks. Aim for three servings of protein, grains, fruits, vegetables, and dairy each day using my plate as a guide to help you eat better and be healthier. So I hope that this will help to make meal planning simpler and I will see you next time.